Hello, my name is Sue Hollingworth and I'm an advocate for SingUp. This video is designed to help you if you are a young person who would like to lead singing with younger children. In this video you're going to see three six formers teach a group of young children for the first time. The young children are a mixture of Key Stage 1 and Key Stage 2. I think the first thing you need to do is to learn some songs. So where do you get these songs from? One great place to find a lot of songs is to go on the Sing Up website and to actually download them. Don't just download the songs, also download the teaching ideas that go alongside the songs and any games as well. The next thing you need to do is actually plan what you're going to do in your session. I think we should start like with the pulse game. I think that will make the rest of the activities easier. Um, how long do we have with them? An hour, I think. An hour. Should we go as in-depth as like removing words and... You know, like I was, think so. Depending on how they get on with it, I think. Yeah. If you can grasp it pretty quickly, we'll start making it harder. Yeah. I would start a session with some kind of warm-up game or song. In this session, you're going to see the young leaders begin with a spoken chant called I like coffee, I like tea. Okay, so I'm going to sing a phrase and then I want you to repeat it. It goes, I like coffee, I like tea. I like coffee, I like tea. Won't you throw the ball to me? Won't you throw the ball to me? One, two, three. The song I like coffee, I like tea teaches children all sorts of things. It's a counting song. So the younger children are learning um, Seven, to count. Seven, eight, nine change places. Seven, eight, nine change places. I like coffee. Um, it's also a song in which the ball is passed from one to the other, so it's got a physical element. They're actually experiencing the feeling of the pulse. Seven, eight, nine change places. And later on, the young leaders are asking children to catch the ball. Well, that's PE, you're learning how to catch and throw a ball. One, two, three, change places. Make sure in your session that you demonstrate very clearly to the children the things that you want them to do. You may have a, quite a wide range of age groups in the group that you're going to, to lead, in which case you're going to have to choose songs that younger children can do as well as the older ones. This is called differentiation. So if the uh, youngest ones can't get a hold of the... They can just hit it on the same beat all the way through. So rather than... I can take my two you know, so they're just going to be like... Yeah, just simplify it. Yeah, I suppose it depends how, how they well, get on with it. You could try it yeah. first time, and then if it doesn't work, simplify it down. Yeah. I can do my without sugar. Like that, yeah. That would work. Okay, so it goes like this. I can take my tea without sugar, sugar. I can take my tea without S-U-G-A-R. First of all, they themselves demonstrate the song and then they teach the song to the primary children. I can take my tea without sugar, sugar. I can take my tea without S-U-G-A-R. I can take my tea without sugar. Then they added the rhythm with the drumsticks. Primary children really like drumsticks. Is anybody confident enough to show us it by themselves, just one pair? If some children are doing really well, you could ask them out to the front to demonstrate to the others. The final stage is to get the children to internalise the S of sugar, so the children are hearing it in their thinking voice, but not saying it. Every time we're going to remove the S, Right. Well, you have to leave a break of silence. So like this. Ready? Notice that 
gradually the activities become harder and harder and it's done in very small stages. Next I might take a song that the primary children already know and I will use this song as a vehicle to teach a musical skill or a concept. In this next session, the young leaders work with the concept of dynamics, louder and quieter. S. And what does it stand for? Forte. When working on dynamics with young children, just check they do know what louder and quieter actually means. And we've got one in between, which is Emma. Medium loud, good job. Medium loud. Do you all know he's got the whole world in his hands? It's nice for the younger children because they get that different kind of relationship between us and them rather than the teachers. It's kind of more relaxed. And I think it's better to have a younger singing leader because you can relate to them. You can relate to each other more. We're younger and we know more about what they enjoy. When you're choosing material, I would begin by choosing something that's not too hard, either for you to do or the children. Eight, nine, two. When you're going into a school, I would go in in twos and threes. I would go with a friend that you know well. Make sure that you support each other. If somebody's struggling to remember a song, then step in and help them. Say on one, two, three. If you hold the ball. <laughs> okay, we, we're gonna sing I like coffee, I like tea. Take your time when you're teaching a song. Don't rush at it. If the children are finding it hard to pick up, then just do tiny little chunks and go slowly. So can I wish you good luck? I'm sure you'll have great fun teaching the younger children these songs. They'll get a lot out of it, and so will you.